Hi guys, Sleepy Murdoch here. And so I was just um, here today to show you all the tips that I um, would like to give you in your journey um, before um, going into One Piece World Seeker. Just for proof, I've done loads of videos um, explaining where things are and that sort of thing, like outfits and that sort of thing. But I've played for 40 hours and yeah, I think I've um, done enough uh, playtime uh, to tell you uh, some good tips or not. So yeah. It's been your boy, it's your boy Luffy Murdoch. Let's get right into the guide. So these are the skill moves you want to be using, or skills, yeah. So max health, uh, HP recovery, speed as well, boost, um, tension gain boost too. This is for your gears and your ultimate attacks, or like signature moves, or whatever you want to call it. Um, these are these are the things you'll want to use uh, just for normal combat, which will get through you through the game way easier. And you definitely have to pick up this um, equip up I slot items game two. Uh, basically, you get this, and it basically powers up your armament. Obs uh, obs yeah, all the all your stats up, um, depending on what, which one you pick and that sort of thing. So you want to you want to have um two of them or they're both these uh, slots unlocked so also you want to be using a um, ufo gum gum ufo so yeah now to gain skill points um you can either start battling um, random opponents or just open up and do as many um, side missions as possible if you've been playing like um like rpgs or like open world games forever, you know this sort of thing already, but side missions will help you gain XP and and uh, skill points and that sort of thing so you can unlock more skills in your skill tree. So yeah, there's another tip for you. And you uh, need to collect the um, yellow and white treasures on the map as well. Um, they unlock outfits and stuff so you can get your outfits and other things to progress you through the game as well um just like what i'm about to talk about in a second um this is all this is uh so you can enjoy the game a bit more um there's a bit more unlockables and that sort of thing Fortunately, the suit i'm using right now is available only on the um for pre-order i'm sure it'll be available soon but yeah uh let's get to the next tip shall we yes so on the karma systems you'll be um uh want to um, face all these opponents i have done videos on them where the um the bosses are in a uh, free roam mode so if you go to kukulsan um you will see that you need a uh, red hawk uh eagle storm and elephant gathering gun uh against pretty much kuzan fujitora uh kizuru and whoever else and yeah so you need them and then on skills to unlock um, Eagle Storm, you just use this uh, Eagle Storm, and then Elephant Gum Gum Elephant Gatling Gun. You could you can upgrade the bat um, battle damage, but if you want if you want to get all um, the skills like Karma skills and all Karma things in one go, you better off not doing that because they just they do especially um, Elephant Gatling Gun does immense damage. So yeah. And when you're uh, or when you start the game, you also see loads of white dots and yellow dots. Uh, white dots give you minor items, and yellow ones give you like better items, I guess. And um, these are like items so you can unlock uh, more uh, equipment and outfits and that sort of thing. So you want to pick this up, and sometimes you really need it because you have uh, you have treasure maps in this game, and you need to pick them up. Um, you need to pick them up to progress through the game and get more treasure chests and that sort of thing. So yeah, if you um, just remember to keep on picking up the um, yellow and white dots in the um, maps you can see on the right hand corner and you'll be laughing and uh, yeah, so yeah. And if you're trying to 100% the game or anything like that, um, you've got to remember at the start of the game or when you possibly can, um, select um, people to go on exploration uh, missions and that sort of thing. So you can uh, yeah obtain uh, one of the trophies because unfortunately I have to um, wait for them to get my platinum uh, a little longer because um, I didn't do these during the game. Um, you can get them to do for like one hour so yeah just recommend doing that. And 
Um, you can obviously pick Observation or Armament Taki for um, the fights and stuff, but I personally recommend using Armament Ice for the one they use. Um, this takes longer to use um, for the fights to last, but if you want a quick and easy route, um, Armament is um, good. But for Observation, it's better for stealth. If you want to be more stealthy, pick Observation. But if you want it to be quicker and stuff, choose Armament. And obviously, like earlier, like I said, um, these are uh, equipment is very volatile because as you see in the left bottom hand corner you can see like all the like um, attacks and stuff like stars and how much it boosts and stuff so marmont as you can see a marmont is pretty high observation non-existent and yeah so yeah so when you are gear four uh, the beautiful Luffy right there what you want to do is um this might be a bit obvious by the way but like when you do get Fenshi Gear 4, you um, unlock this bit here. You want to reveal every single one that you possibly can. Um, attack, obviously, to make Luffy stronger. And the duration, um, like he, how long you use Gear 4 for, is very important. And this fatigue, um, after a while, you won't get able to use Gear 4 for a while, like he does in the manga and anime and such. So uh, use that as well to... Um, stop this fatigue yeah also if you're wondering what um, difficulty you should play at um, I recommend standard honestly because it's standard as a, alone is quite hard on its own um, obviously you can um, change the difficulty uh, while you're playing the game through options difficulty settings blah 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 blah, blah, blah. but I recommend standard because um, it's quite hard to begin with um, I'm currently replaying the game on hard so yeah, I'll just recommend playing it on a standard, uh, just for, just to um, have a little bit of a better experience to us, yeah? Because this game can be frustrating at times, and especially if you're playing on hard modes, whew, you can uh, get very frustrating. And the last um, tip I'll give you guys is just to explore the island and enjoy yourselves in this game. Um, it, it it's not it's not exactly the best game in the world, but it has a great map and everything. Just look at this city. It's really um, like in Oda's art style and that sort of thing, I believe. And it looks so beautiful. And getting to know everywhere and everything is absolutely great fun. I've actually really enjoyed my time playing this game. I got really mad a few times um, because of the game, but um, in all in all, it's a really good experience. Um, so yeah thank you very much for watching expect some more videos to come and live streams to come on one piece world seeker so yeah um it's been your boy luffy murdoch love you all have a great day see ya oh yeah check out my other videos as well on uh outfits and that sort of thing if you do get this game later on and uh the free roam boss battles and yeah see you next time